All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Raptorium. Raptorium and why the hash rate doubled in December. It's really kind of an interesting story, and uh, it's amazing what, what is occurring out there. So if anything you take away from this video, I'm going to cut to the chase. They hacked into HP servers, and they used the Java log4j exploit. They executed mining software, probably um, XM rig or CPU miner, uh, G or whatever, to mine Raptorium. And that's pretty amazing. And uh, people are going to these extents like that. And people are going to, uh, to lengths to work with NVIDIA to get hundreds and hundreds of GPUs purchased through them directly, bypassing resellers. There was another guy in the government who was mining crypto, CPU mining crypto on government servers, made about 25K, right? I don't know how he got it out of there because most of those facilities are secure, locked down. It's hard to get stuff in and out. So odds are he also violated some security uh, protocol and lost his job too. Yeah, because he was stealing. Anyway, but in the government, most of those guys sit there all day anyway, not working. So that's theft in a way too, you know what I mean? You're stealing time. I don't know, you know what I mean? Anyway, enough of that. So this... Um, this story is pretty cool. So the hackers hijack uh, HP, AMD, EP, YC servers for Raptorium crypto mining. Uh, so by doing this, they doubled the hash rate of Raptorium cryptocurrency through this uh, activity. This is all early December up till mid-December. So here's what they did. It's, it's pretty amazing. It didn't take long for the hackers to weaponize a critical job of vulnerability for profit. Using the log4j exploit, log4j is a library, an import a dependency in the Java ecosystem. You just import it and you can do logging, stuff like that. And uh, it's just a library class of, of uh, methods and stuff you just use, whatever. Uh, so they found a vulnerability and you can uh, basically run an executable, I think, by calling a log4j class, kick off some code, probably the XM rig or CPU miner, one of those Raptorium mining softwares, uh, executables. That's most likely what they did and just ran, ran crazy on these super, super powerful uh, servers. So anyway, they used the log4j exploit. Um, they wrestled control of HP's AMD-based 9000 EPY servers. They turned the powerful hardware into cryptocurrency miners. Uh, the feat provoked a doubling of the hash rate, as we mentioned, for the CPU-based cryptocurrency Raptorium ticker symbol RTM from 200 mega hash up to 400 mega hash before most of the exploited machines were brought offline. That's, you'd think it'd be more than 400. You'd think it'd probably land to a thousand with this powerful machines. I mean, these are like the HAL machines, you know? I don't know. So anyway, here we talked about Log4j. It's a vulnerability uh, recently outed as part of the famous Apache suite and uh, merited as the highest possible threat classification 10. Um, this is because the exploit does not require physical access and allows for escalation of privileges to trick the system into connecting to, downloading, and running malware from a hacker-controlled server. Several software providers have patched the vulnerability, but that wasn't the case for HP's EPYC9000 machine. So if you're the guy, the system admin dude, running this shop, you should know all the vulnerabilities coming in on a daily basis and all the updates and patches. Shame on you. Maybe you're just too lazy or maybe you didn't think it was worth the, worth the effort. Yeah, or the downtime because you have to take these servers down to install the patches. Oh, well, yeah, you're probably looking for a job right now. Anyway, HP's EPYC uh, server seems to have been targeted for one reason only. One reason. This is amazing. They went to this extent just to mine Raptorium. It's a CPU-based cryptocurrency based on a proof-of-work POW, POW model that leverages the Ghostwriter algorithm. See, this is a good article. They're explaining everything. I like this article so far. They're explaining what's going on, how they did it, and not too technical, but technical enough. So Ghostwriter combines the X16R and the Kryptonite algorithms and plays particularly nice with AMD's cache-dense uh, Zen designs. And while AMD's mainstream Ryzen 9, 5912 core and 5950X 16 core both feature 64 megabytes of L3 cache, it loves that L3 cache. The company's Zen 3 based EPYC Milan CPUs 
double that to 128 megabytes. Holy mackerel. Increased performance and daily earnings. Boy, they went for the top performance hardware, man. AMD's upcoming Milan X EPYC CPUs are bound for market release in 2Q, second quarter 2022. The processors will up the L3 cache size to a whopping 768 megabytes uh, by leveraging the 3 db cache. One can only imagine what sort of hash rates that upcoming silicon will be able to unlock. Okay, enough about the hardware. So here, here goes the uh, here goes the uh, evidence or the uh, result of such a hack. Raptorum developers first noted an unusual uptick in a hash rate from December 9th, while the number of machines contributing to Raptorium has been steadily increasing. Yeah, because everyone's getting into CPU mining. December 9th saw an abnormal jump in network hash rate uh, from a typical 200 mega hash up to a little doubling at 400 mega hash with the increase coming from a single wallet address. That's amazing. People are like, who is this guy? Who's, throw, who's this guy throwing his hardware at it? Who's a supercomputer? Oh my gosh. So this guy, a leading Raptorium developer, explained that during the attack, many servers were breached, each, pounding, each outputting a significant amount of hash power on very high-end server equipment. Very few organizations will have their hands on this kind of hardware, making it extremely unlikely that, that the attack was done using the individual's own hardware. I don't know. Some people have a lot of money. They can buy hardware, too, you know? Uh, look at a guy who bought the NVIDIA cards. He has, he has a huge server building out in Salt Utah, right? Anyway. Um, let's see. Through a private investigation, there is now strong evidence that suggests Hewlett Packard 9000 APYC server hardware was being used to mine Raptorium coins. We discovered that the miners they were using were all given HP nicknames, and they were all stopped abruptly, which, which uh, fortifies speculation of a company breach followed by a patch of the servers. So that's what I mentioned before. The IT guy, he probably got canned on the spot for cause for not doing his job, and the, the uh, guy below him said, I'll patch it right away before the door hit the guy's butt on the way out. You know what I mean? Yeah, you better. it's not that hard to do an update. Come on, you just got to bring some stuff down and patch and tell people there's going to be downtime. Yeah, but oh well. The Log4j Raptorian mining exploit started December 9th until it mostly ended on December 17th. That's kind of a long time to not catch an exploit on your super high-end servers. Anyway, anyway, during this period, hackers were able to collect approximately 30% of the total block reward, which is roughly 3.4 million Raptorium RTM on worth around 110,000 USD as of 12-21-2021. Although activity has dropped considerably, it is ac actively mining to this day on what still looks like, oh, the wallet address, to be a single premium machine which has failed to patch. Oh my God. Who's ever running this shop? I don't know. As I get older and as I'm around more in the IT world and other worlds and other domains, it seems like people fail up, especially in the government and some of these big companies. People just fail up. And it's like, wow. The hackers managed to move around 1.5 million of them, cashing them in. Wow. Cashing them in via the CoinX exchange. The remainder 1.7 million tokens were left idling, perhaps waiting for positive price action. Yeah. Before uh, cashing out on the prospective earnings. Interestingly, the uh, Raptorian's valuation remains unaffected by the sudden wallet action, which uh, would have been in the top 20 wallets at the 3.4 million mark, RTM mark. So the wallet is still out there collecting. There's no way to stop it. So let's say patch that server. Yeah. Oh, comments. No comments. Come on. I like the comments, folks. You want to read the comments first sometimes? Uh, let's see. So there you go. If you're wondering why the hash rate increased, and why one wallet has a couple million <laughs> Raptorium in it. There you go. It just, again, it shows you what lengths people will go to to mine crypto. Why do they do it? This guy, these hackers just cashed in on, what was that, 110000 bucks. December 25th, 2021, news article for you. Pretty good article. I really like the writing. Most articles I read have grammar. You can't read them, punctuation, spelling errors. Tom's hardware tends to do a good job. And this was actually a good article. All right, I'm out. Enough talk, enough babbling. Go have fun. Enjoy the holidays. Enjoy Christmas. 
It's truly the best time of year. All right, I'm out. Bye.